Um, so, uh, speaking of fixing voice, <laughs> uh, actually, my my wiki page needs a little updating here. As anybody who compares it to the to the alternate viewers page uh, will be able to see. Um, so, the voice we have a voice update viewer out in RC. Um, there is a problem with it, although it's not with voice. Uh, it's it's got a bug in the way uh, SSL certs are validated. Um, in in the course of doing this viewer, I also updated the cert bundle, and it looks as though um, mu the much newer certs that are in the cert bundle uh, are um, exposing some old-fashioned validation code in our uh, in our down in the bells of our code that needs updating. Uh, so I've been sort of very slowly and carefully plotting through, under making sure I understand that before I make any uh, functional changes to it. Um, so there will that that viewer will not get promoted. Um, to viewer release until that is fixed. Um, that will certainly not at this point be before week after next because I'm on vacation next week and it's all kind of in my head and in my working copies. So um, thank you very much to Ansarial for having pointed out the issue which uh, came to light during the Firestorm merge. So, uh, during an experimental merge to Firestorm, uh, it it turned out that uh, the diagnosis that Ansarial had was one step too shallow, but it, it certainly led me to the problem, um, which I otherwise might not have noticed because it turns out uh, it caused us to validate things we might possibly should not have. So. Um, so thank you very much there, and that will certainly get fixed before that goes to viewer release. But as it happens on our viewer, it has no really bad effect. Uh, it's actually doing the right thing; it's just doing it for the wrong reasons. So, um, so we'll leave that out there. We probably won't increase the number of users on it um, because it doesn't have a very good crash rate at the moment. I'm not sure why not. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll deal with that when we when we get to it. Um, and uh, so that won't be getting promoted. Project Alex Ivy got an update since our last meeting uh, with new CEF. Uh, it does have some problems. It is definitely not done, but its crash rate got dramatically better. Um, so, uh, if you want a less crashy experience and you've got a 64-bit uh, machine on a 64-bit OS, that will not be a bad thing to pick up. Uh, at this point, it will probably get an update either late next week or early the week after with um, the next iteration. Uh, still not entirely sure which of the competing things will be the next iteration, but uh, coming soon. Um, probably we will not get a 360 snapshot update next week because um, the 64-bit viewer is consuming the bandwidth. Um, yeah, right. Uh, and then there's um, the assets via HTTP, which Veer can give us the latest and greatest updates on. So why don't you do that? Sure. So uh, we have a viewer build um, that uh, works on supported regions of a DD. The main blocker for getting that to Agni right now is some... Uh, web configuration stuff uh, that's 
uh, needs to be looked at by the uh, ops folks. There's a change to the the way that the CDN stuff gets routed and a change to the uh, asset servers. Um, so those changes have happened already on Aditi, but have not happened on Agni. Um, so as soon as we can get the time slice to do those, uh, we should be able to get the project viewer out. Um, in the process of working on that, we found a, a couple of issues related to metrics collection. Uh, we try to collect stats on how well asset fetches are going, and uh, we haven't been collecting them in an entirely correct way for a while. Um, so uh, we're also going to be putting out some uh, sim side fixes related to that, but that'll be kind of percolating its way out a little later and doesn't really have any user visible consequences. Uh, so anyway, we'll we'll keep you posted. I'm hoping we can get the um, project viewer out next week if uh, things align reasonably well. So that's that's kind of where everything is. Um, so the floor is open. A little off topic, but uh, Oz, uh, keep uh, June sixteenth free, please, for the jail and bail. June sixteenth. Uh, let's see. That's a Friday. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the 16th, but that was the date that was given to me today. Uh, is it, for is the, it a, a daytime thing? Yep, I believe so. Uh, that is U.S. East Coast daytime, not... Yes, I believe so. Okay, I'm going to put a note on my calendar. I, it is probably true that I have an evening... Uh, thing there my uh, that that evening so I won't be able to stay late during that day uh, okay. well, I will, uh, we have a I will confirm that we have so. a third-party viewer meeting scheduled for that day although the the intervals could get shifted by the time we get to there um, so if I suspect that the third party viewer meeting would be the end of my day on that day as things stand right now my my brother runs a big uh, a big music festival and the concerts for it okay so i'm probably going to go um but i will put a uh, a note on that day so that i am aware of it okay done Uh, when you have any more specifics, obviously, yep. you share them. I will do so. Well, cool. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. Um, I'm just going with some friends. Um, so, uh, that's that. Um, any other hot topics? Or do we have a, do we have a short meeting today? You said the S word. That, you know what that means. No, we've got Jess busy in real life at the moment, so we're safe that way. 
If, if it is this short, it's going to scare me the loss because our support meeting was actually one of the shortest we've ever had to. So. Well, you know, that, just away. Means, that just means that, uh, you know, I have an easy afternoon before going off on my vacation. So there's nothing wrong with that. A short meeting. Happy Friday, Grumpy. Okay, I lied to you. Oz, it's the 19th, yeah. not the 16th. The 19th? Yeah. Okay. I was corrected by I am. Thank you very much. And that event will be running all day long. Okay. Well, I have no very obvious conflict on that day, so uh, other than my usual crowded meeting schedule, but you know, I can I can make adjustments there. So that's probably fine. Of course, thank you very much. I definitely don't have the the music festival on that day, so that's great. Bonus. Uh, okay. Well, if no one uh, has any topics that need discussion, uh, I will go back to my oh. debugging. I can't think of anything. No. All right. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, Jess has just said, did you mention that, Ed, what Jess has just said? Uh, she wants some updates on them. Um... Hang on. Pestering us about the volume. Uh, yeah, she wants an, uh, an update on the ETA on HTTP inventory, if it's possible. HTTP inventory. We already do inventory with HTTP. Uh, you mean HTTP assets? Yeah. HTTP assets. Um, yeah, well, that's what Vera was talking about. So um, hopefully, right. we're, we'll, hopefully we'll get the uh, Agni CDN configuration changes made. Um, by sometime next week, and then that uh, viewer will will pop out where people can play with it. So I was linked, and a question: When did you guys plan to kind of somewhat disable service support for UDP assets? Um, it will be sometime this summer. Okay, early um, summer or late summer? Some, my, uh, my guess today would be July or August. Okay. Yeah. Have to but, but we'll, right we'll pin that. We'll pin that down more closely when uh, the when the viewer code for it gets to viewer release. Basically, then we'll 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 try to set a date at that point and and share it with you, obviously. So I will be, you know. Oh, that's that's good now. Glad to hear that. I actually haven't spent as much time in them yet as I as I probably should, but I'm trying to cram in a bunch of stuff before I go away for a week. Yeah, the new forum is pretty okay. I approve of your forum software choice this time. It's not weird and obscure. Yeah, good, good. It's uh, I I I can't take even. The tiniest bit of credit for it. I didn't hear about it until it was already a done deal. Uh, is there a Jira update coming? Uh, there is supposed to be, um, but I haven't got a timetable. I'm, I'm believe me. Uh, no matter how much you want it, I want it much more. I I think. Everyone wants it at this point. Yeah, it it 
it would be great. Um, uh, the new version actually has some nice, nice improvements. Um, we're using the new version on an internal server. Um, that's that's not Jira Second Life Doc, and uh, it's it's nice. So uh, it'll let me make some improvements I'd like to make. Yeah, they did change the interface. It's all new and shiny. It's you know it's a more modern looking interface. There are fashions with these things. So phones. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I will try to give people a um, you know a warning about when that's coming, but I I haven't heard yet. Uh, oh, oh, would you guys be interested in dusting off the FMUT Studio contribution things? At all for viewer sixty four. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Because I can throw something together for that pretty easily. That'd be great. That'd be great. I'd be happy to look into that. The, um, I might not. In fact, probably won't. Actually, gate um, the release of viewer sixty four on integrating it. Just because if we switch to using FMOD Studio, we have to go through the whole get a license and pay for it and all that nonsense, um, which is not it's it's not difficult, but it is time consuming, and the time required is not the usual uh, programming and QA time. It's legal word purchasing. Uh, it, it's you know it's legal in purchasing getting things signed um, time and uh, so what I would if we if we got a contribution that works and integrates with the with uh, the 64 bit uh, it's the 64 bit link is is project Alex IV on the alternate viewer stage. Yeah, we, we've been using FMOD Studio for like two years now, three, a long time. Yeah, um, yeah, that'd be that'd be great. I'd, I'd love to get updated to that. Um, I have in the past floated whether or not the, the question of whether or not it's okay for us to spend the money, and basically the answer was if the software is better, of course you can spend the money. So it's... It's it's real money, but it's not so much that it's a problem. Uh, it's if they did lower the licensing fee costs, which is always good. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I haven't looked in a while, so. But I'll. I'll I'll turn that crank and manage it. But I, unless that goes very very quickly, I probably won't. Hold up, releasing 64-bit for it, but we can always integrate it immediately after as a. Yeah, I, I did fix a lot of weird bugs. Like the left and right sound channels have actually been flipped upside down for years. If that makes sense. I don't know how to describe it. They're on the right I'm sides, trying. but they're reversed, like it inverted. I'm not sure I understand what that means, but okay. Uh, it, it has to do with how a 3D sound stage works. So the basically the virtual speakers are they're on the left and right sides correctly, but they're flipped. They're reversed, if that makes sense. Huh. Okay. Well, actually, that's one of the things that's fixed in the voice update viewer, is that for some time the Spatial voice positioning has been broken. Um, yeah, yeah. The, and, the, uh, the main sound engine also has been slightly broken because, and you really you can only notice it when you actually have a more than two sound channel stage set up on there. Oh, okay. But it, it was a bizarre, bizarre bug. Yeah, we. Uh, 
quite quite some time ago actually nobody nobody noticed it for a long long time or nobody reported it anyway for a long long time um but uh we we broke the updates of which direction you were facing um that get sent to the voice server which of course does the mixing to make sure that your positional voice is correct and um so unless if you were using um listen from your avatar position it didn't affect it if you were listening from your camera position that was right but if you were listening from your avatar position uh which is the way i always set it up um then the voice location was only correct if you were facing east because we were always telling vivox that we were facing east um, but it's fixed now and it's it's much nicer That's so like a fun bug. Yeah, it was, it was dumb, but uh, you know, it was it was an easy easy mistake to make. Um, that wasn't that hard to fix once we knew that it was there, but nobody noticed it. I, I guess the default is listen from camera position, and I'm guessing based on the fact that it, uh, it wasn't reported for so long that that must be the way a lot of people leave it. Yeah, I, most people don't switch it to avatar base. Avatar base is neat, though. Well, I I do a lot of situations like this one in Second Life, where I'm sitting in a meeting with people who are sitting in a circle or a big square or something, and it or around a table, and so it it, it I usually have my camera you know behind behind my avatar, but it it sort of makes it, it enhances the the realism of it and it means that I can flip my camera around without changing where the spatial voice is, is coming from. Uh, if I want to admire somebody's outfit or look closely at something that somebody is trying to demo for me. Uh, uh, and it doesn't it doesn't I'm I'm not messing up my audio environment when I do that. So I I kind of prefer that the audio the the avatar based positioning. But I even I hadn't noticed it. I had just noticed that sometimes I couldn't hear people as well as I thought I'd be able to, and I hadn't actually dug into it. But it turned out that it was it was that's what it was. The, the facing was messed up. So um, the the voice update also has support for uh, the Opus codec, which is nice. Yeah, I, I saw that the Vivox uh, release notes. It, 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 did you guys actually enable that server side? It. The server side support will be added soon. Um, Excellent. That, that should actually get some nice quality improvements to voice. Uh, it will. It will primarily affect um, group voice or or conference calls or you know person to person calls um, because it will only work if everybody who's in the channel is capable of using it. So until that until that update gets propagated around it usually won't work for local voice uh, but it will work for person to person calling it'll make the it'll make a quite audible difference yeah hopefully hopefully that gets uh, propagated quickly since the asset thing is coming yeah right like, we're going to have the advantage that we're going to be rendering a lot of viewers um, broken at some point so yeah. so Anything else? I fixed a bug in Live Open Metaverse that was causing current outfit folders to break. Oh, good. Yeah, it's that's nice that it's nice that that's getting attention uh, again because a lot of people depend on it. That's great. That's I, great. I noticed it when I was debugging the Open Sim server, but it breaks bots too. It, it causes the uh, the, the folder to be created with a weird asset type tag string thing for folder links. Okay. All right. Well, if that's if that's what we've got today, let's all take a half hour back. Thanks very much for coming, everybody. See you in two weeks. Thanks, Seth. Thanks for short meetings are great.
Bye, Bye.